Maybe some of you have been attending our Gita Gyan courses online where they do one chapter a day. Right? Did any of you put your hand up if you attended the Gita Gyan course? Oh, very less people. Well, we encourage all of you who didn't attend, you should attend. But it's going on continually and it's it's free. You come and you go you know I'm sure you all have a mobile phone, right? Yes, everybody got a mobile phone, I know. So you use your mobile phone to hear the Bhagavad Gita classes. And you put an application into your mobile phone called Zoom and that will connect you. You can you can find out the details about the classes. It's very important for you to hear regularly the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita. It's easier for you to hear the classes than to have to read the book. And we have classes in Tamil as well. So in Kuala Lumpur and in DM and Todu, everywhere devotees have been attending these classes. I don't know why Singapatani devotees are not attending. 
புக்கிட் நர்த்தாஜாம் போன்ற இடங்களில் நிறைய பக்தர்கள் இந்த பயிற்சியில் கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றார்கள் ஏன் சுங்கைப்பட்ட அணியில் ஒரு சிலர் மட்டுமே கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றீர்கள் பகவத்கீதை தொடர்பான இந்த வகுப்புகளை கேட்பது உங்களுக்கு மிக முக்கியம் Just they take one hour and they'll do one chapter in the course of one hour. And the classes are taught by your own Malaysian devotees. So it's very nice to hear these classes. Actually these classes are going on all over the world in the vagupugal ulaga muluvadum nadai petru kondirukkindrana ivai miga mukkiyamanavai of course in india hundreds of thousands lakhs of people are attending the classes ikkiyamaga indiyavil lakshakanakana bhaktargal inda vagupugalai kalandukolgirargal and in malaysia they had also very good success many thousands of people have also attended malaysia vilo inda vagupugal nalla vetri petrana aayirakanakana bhaktargal idil kalandukondu payin petrargal you just need your mobile phone and get the details because you need a little modern mobile phone so you can put the application in it so that you can go online you can, if you have a computer you can also use your computer if you want ungalude kai pesi vaayilaga nichayamaga kai pesi sattu navinamaga irukka vendum alladhu ungalude madikanini moolamaga idarkana vinnapathai neengal seiyalam anyway it's explained in the set seminars how at the end of the sixth chapter lord krishna described bhakti as at the top of the yoga ladder in the paisi kuda aaram adhyayathin irudhiyil bhakti padi nilaygalil eppadi bhakti yogam uyarnda nilayil irukkindrathu endradhu vivarikkapettullathu and then seventh chapter begins with krishna saying now hear from me how by practicing yoga with your mind attached to me you can know me in full without doubt in the yelam adhyayathin mudal padathil eppadi yogam payiruvadan moolam thannai patri mulumayaga oru var purindukolla mudiyum endru krishna bhagavan vivarikkindrar of course we have doubts we think oh i don't know is this is this good for me maybe i waste my time maybe it's not good for me sila samayangalil namakku sandhegam varum idellam enakku theviya idu enakku payanpaduma endra ennangal ellam yerpadalam but if you read the bhagavad gita if you are sincere then krishna will take away all the doubts anal நேர்மையாக <laughs> பண்டிதர் என்ற மாபெரும் பக்தர் ஒருவர் இருந்தார் சில தினங்களுக்கு முன்புதான் அவரது மறைவு நாள் அனுஷ்டிக்கப்பட்டது தேவனந்த பண்டே was a, he was a teacher of the shrimad bhagavatam and he had many students come to him to learn shrimad bhagavatam தேவனந்த பண்டிட் என்பவர் ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவத ஆசிரியர் அவரிடம் இதை கற்றுக்கொள்வதற்கு பல மாணவர்கள் வந்தனர் But actually this Devananda Pandit although he was teaching Srimad Bhagavatam he was not really a very good devotee In the Sri Devananda Pandit enbavar Srimad Bhagavatam bodhithalum kuda avar or siranda bhaktaraga illai Somehow he was inspired to teach Srimad Bhagavatam but he didn't really know the real meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam 
இருப்பதற்கு அவருக்கு ஆர்வம் ஏற்பட்டது ஆனால் உண்மையில் அது அவருக்கு முழுமையாக தெரிந்திருக்கவில்லை that one day shrivas pandit came over to navadweep and he went to the place where devananda pandit had his ashram and where he was teaching the bhagavatam or na shrivas tagur and navadweepathirkku vandar devananda pandit shrimad bhagavatam nadathum kala vaduppu nadathum idathirkku avar vandar do you know shrivas in the panchatatva we say jai shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita jagadhar so who is shri vas who will see the expansion of shri vas in bavar yaar yaar udi abhivangam avar lord chaitanya is krishna right chaitanya mahaprabhu shri krishna and nityananda who is nityananda nityananda yaar Prajendra Nandana say Sachi Sutta Hailo He Balaram Hailo Nithai Right? Nithai is Nityananda So Nityananda is Balaram Chaitanya is Krishna Nityananda is Balaram Who is Advaita? Nityananda Balaram Advaita Who is Advaita? Yes Okay. Yes. Yes. Who is Advaita? Before before Lord Purnima, before Nichiren and the Triodesi, we have the appearance of Advaita Acharya. Who is Advaita? What's his identity? Yes. Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. Not bad. Yes, quite good. That's a good guess. Yes, and uh, he is Mahavishnu and Sada Shiva. We say Sada Shiva, not just Shiva, but Sada Shiva. Sada Shiva means Lord Shiva in the spiritual world, and he also he's also Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu and Sada Shiva both are there in the personality of Advaita Acharya. Advaita Acharya. மகாவிஷ்ணு <laughs> So Lord Chaitanya, he would like to always be with Gadadhar Pandit, because the Lord Chaitanya wanted to cultivate the mood of Radharani, and so he would learn from Gadadhar. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in Nairamu, Gadadhar Pandit, the Lord is far, and Radharani in Bhavatei, our Parapurimbinar. So then, who is Sri Vas? Narayan. Very good. Yes. Sri Vas. மாயப்பூர் and he came over to navadvip to shivas to devananda pandit's place to hear the shrimad bhagavatam from him in the shrivas tagur in bavar narada munivar nichayamaga shrimad bhagavatam kekkadarkku avar adhiga aavar kondavar adanal navadipathirkku vande devananda pandithar porikindra shrimad bhagavatam kekka virumbinar So he was hearing the Shrimad Bhagavatam, and when he heard the Bhagavatam, it was so pleasing to him that his love for Krishna awakened, and he collapsed on the ground in ecstasy. But Shrivastakur, in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, they get the parade. Our spirit, our anand, the mere patte, paravasi nilai, paravasi nilai, mere patte, karayil, mayangi bilunda. 
Sometimes devotees say, oh, what happened to them? They will just hear a beautiful sloka and they'll go, oh, and they'll faint and they'll fall on the ground and they'll roll on the ground in ecstasy. Srimad Bhagavatam is the incarnation of Krishna in the Kali Yuga. Srimad Bhagavatam in Bade, Kali Yuga Til, Krishna Bhagavani, Avadaram. The question was asked to the sages in the Naimisharanya. The, the sages in the Naimisharanya forest, they asked Sutta Goswami. They said, you know, when Krishna was on the planet, he was the personification of all religion. But now he's gone. He's disappeared from the world. So where are the religious principles from? Naimasharanya Kanagati and so Sutta Goswami told the, told the sages in Naimisharanya, Krishna Swadamo Pagate Dhamma Gyana Devisaha Kalo Nishtam Drisham Nisha Puranato Drino Jataha He said this Bhagavad Purana, Srimad Bhagavatam is as brilliant as the sun and it has arisen, it has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna. People have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of the age of Kali will get light from this Purana. How many of you got Bhagavad Gita at home? How many of you got Srimad Bhagavatam at home? Oh, yes, some of you, good. Are you reading? Sometimes we go to the home and I see they've got the Bhagavad Gita never opened. <laughs> Still got the plastic on it. <laughs> so you have to read. Srimad Bhagavatam is Lord Krishna coming into your home in the form of books. And Prabhupada said, you just read these books, one day you will see Krishna. You want to see Krishna? Yes. Right? You want to see Krishna? You read the Bhagavatam. One day you will see Krishna in the pages of the Bhagavatam. So Srivas Pandit was there and Devananda Pandit was reading Srimad Bhagavatam to all the students and Srivas was sitting and he heard the Bhagavatam and he became ecstatic and he rolled on the ground he said, oh Krishna, Krishna, he was so much ecstasy. So the students, the foolish students of Devananda Pandit, they did not know that this was ecstasy in love of God. 
And they thought, who is this man disturbing us? Get, let's get him out of here. And they picked him up roughly. They dragged him out and put him outside. So this was an offense. And Devananda Pandit, because he was the teacher of the students, he had to get the take the responsibility for that. So Devananda Pandit, he didn't do anything. He didn't know. He didn't stop the students. He should have stopped them from doing what they did to Sri Pandit. He didn't say anything. He just let them carry him out. So he got reactions for being offensive to a great devotee. So it happened that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard about this and he was very angry. So it happened one time, Devananda Pandit came to Lord Chaitanya and he asked Lord Chaitanya to, to please teach him Srimad Bhagavatam. Lord Chaitanya said, I will never teach you, you are an offender of pure devotees. So Devananda Pandit, he didn't know what he'd done and he felt very sorry, he couldn't get any mercy from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But then it happened, there was another devotee who was a great kirtaniya and he loved to do kirtan and he would dance for many, many hours at, at a time. So while this devotee was doing kirtan, Devananda Pandit came and he helped to keep the crowds away so that the devotee to, could do kirtan without getting disturbed by all the people. So when Lord Chaitanya heard this, then he was very pleased. And then he gave mercy. He told Devananda Pandit, you should go to Srivast Pandit and get forgiven for your offense. So Devananda Pandit went to Srivast Thakur and he fell at his feet and he begged forgiveness for his offenses. And, and then he came back to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught him the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Lord Chaitanya told him, don't ever think that you have understood everything in Srimad Bhagavatam. Just as Krishna is unlimited and we can never know everything about Lord Krishna, we can never know everything about Srimad Bhagavatam. Sri 
கிருஷ்ணர் எப்படி எல்லையற்றவரோ அவரை பற்றி முழுமையாக புரிந்து கொள்ள முடியாதோ அதுபோலவே ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதத்தையும் ஒருவரால் முழுமையாக புரிந்து கொள்ள முடியாது So this pastime of Devananda Pandit getting forgiven for his offenses is very instructive for all of us. Devananda Pandit ar mannikka patta vishayam namakku ellam saranda paadam aagum. It's very easy for us to commit offense without even knowing about it and then that will stop our devotional advancement. நம்மை அறியாமல் நமது நாம் செய்கின்ற குற்றங்கள் எல்லாம் மிகவும் கடிமையானது அதனால் நம்முடைய பக்தி வளர்ச்சி பாதிப்படையும் பக்தர்களை நாம் நிந்தனை செய்திருந்தால் கூட எப்படி அதை நிவர்த்தி செய்வதென்றால் அந்த பக்தருக்கு நாம் செய்ய வேண்டும் மகாராஜ் Kamo dwaram yoshitam sangi sangam by serving the devotees the mahatmas it opens the doors to liberation mahatma kalana bhaktargalukku seva seivadan moolamaga muktiyin kadavu namakkaga thirakkum endru pragalada maharajan koorugindrar poor mahatmas all of you you are all mahatmas because you are the ones here chanting hari krishna and hearing the glories of krishna it is said manushya nam sahasreshu kashchit yatati sidai out of thousands of people hardly one is in their bearing for perfection So you are the ones, you are the Mahatmas, you are endeavouring, making some effort to get perfection, to make some progress in your spiritual life. So we all can here to serve all of you. to preach to you and to encourage you in your devotion of service. And then this, by doing devotion of service, then you come to the perfection of perfection of life. In the bhakti to the same mode of life, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita only by devotion can you be understood not by karma not by jnana not by yoga but only by devotion Krishna Bhagavan Gita il kurugindra bhakti in moolamagave avarai adaiya mudiyum endru karmam yogam jnanam We want to cultivate our devotion for Krishna very seriously by chanting and hearing and remembering Krishna. Kebam seide avare petri kette nam inda bhaktiyai valarthu kolla petri seigindrom. First comes hearing. We have to hear regularly to remind us about Krishna. Mudali naam ketta vendum. Todandi ketpadan moolamaga Krishna Bhagavanai patri naam inaivil kolgirom. We have to hear from the devotees of Krishna, from people who love Krishna and who serve Krishna themselves. 
then we can hear from them, we will be affected by their association. Krishna Bhaktargal, Krishna Ray Nesito Vargal, our Savai Sai Vargal, Ipati Pata Bhaktargal and Rundadan, Nam Krishna Bhagavan Ipatri, get the window. So this, this hearing, this is the first step of Bhakti Yoga. We hear in the association of devotees. Bhakti Yoga team, Mudal Padi in the cattle. Adavadi, Bhakti Yoga, Sankati, Nam Ketkavendu. Lord Kapila in Srimad Bhagavatam tells his own mother, Devahuti. Lord Kapila is the son. Devahuti is his mother. You know Devahuti? She is the daughter of Swayambhuva Manu. And so, Lord Kapila is incarnation of God. And he came as her son. And he told his mother very important information. Srimad Bhagavati, Kapila Deva, Arudi Ataya, Devahuti Ke, Kirai Patri Kerke and Lord Kapila said, Satam Prasangam Mamabirya Samvido Babandira Karanara Sayana Kata Lord Kapila telling his mother topics of Lord Krishna when heard in the association of devotees is very pleasing to the ear and to the heart. Krishna Bhagavani Patriya Lila Gale Ketpare Adikum Gire Kirkum Miga Yinivayana When we hear we want it to go to the heart. Don't let it just go out the other ear. Let it go into the heart and keep it in the heart. Nam Ketpare Yidadhar Tipugundu Vanadhi Gadi Vayara Kura. Nam Ketpare and when it goes to the heart, it will purify our heart. It will take away the dirt from our heart. You like to be clean. You all look very clean. So, this is how we clean the heart by hearing about Krishna. And just like we bathe regularly, you know, every day we bathe, we want to keep ourselves clean. It's so hot here in Malaysia and humid. We bathe two or three times even in a day, take bath, keep clean. We need to also clean the heart by hearing regularly. Malaysia or Krishna Mada Nadi and Badal Nam Adikati Kulikin Rome or Nala Kimundra Mara Kulikin Rome, Namadu Vudala Tumiada Vitri Padakre, Adupala, Namadi Tayu, Nam Tumiada Vitri Tavento. So I'm encouraging all of you, you try to get in, in, into our Gita Gyan seminar and hear the Bhagavad Gita. And we also have nice courses like the ISKCON Disciple Course. Have any of you done the ISKCON Disciple Course? No, 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 did you do it, yeah, no. you need to do it, it will be good for you to learn how to be a devotee. 
எப்படி பக்தராக இருப்பது என்பதை புரிந்து கொள்வதற்கு இந்த பயிற்சிகளில் கலந்து கொள்வது நல்லது and how to be a member in iskon we are members of iskon so you should understand about the society how it is managed how it is organized nangal ellam inda krishna bhakti yakathi kurippinargal neengalum inda yakathi kurippinargalaga irupadarkke enna ellam endum endrai therinjukolla vendum so we encourage you try to take the opportunity next time when we have a iskon disciple course or when there is a gita gyan seminars to enroll register make you can do it also online you don't have to come if you come it's better but you can do it also online adutha morai in the iskon seedargal payirchi நடமாட்ட <laughs> நிறைய <laughs> that you're at home or sometimes you're driving your car or so you're doing other things you don't hear very carefully anal in the yengalai vali vagupil prachana irukkindrathu sila samayathil kaarigalai selithikkondu veetil matra velaigalai paarthukkondu thavanamaga ketpadillai maybe you're watching tv at the same time as listening to the oru samayam adhe nerathil தொலைக்காட்சிக்கொண்டிருக்கலாம் <laughs> அதனால் நேரடியாக இந்த நிலையங்களுக்கு வந்து வகுப்பில் கலந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் நீங்கள் தூங்கினாலும் கூட சத்தம் போட்டு உங்களை எங்களால் எழுப்ப முடியும் so you get more benefit by being physically present rather than just being on the mobile phone எங்களை வழி இல்லாமல் நேரடியாக வந்து கலந்து கொள்ளும் பொழுது அது அதிக நன்மைகள் உண்டு so we want you very much to increase your bhakti ungalude bhaktiyai adhigamaga valarthu kollala vendum endrade namade aaval because it's bhakti which is going to save us at the time of at the end of this life bhakti is what counts more than anything else in the valvi irudhiyil nammai kaapatra koodiyadhu bhakti dhaan veru edhaiyum vida namakku mukkiyamaanadhu andha nerathil bhakti dhaan you may say oh you know i'm a good person i never did any wrong ningal kurala o naan miga nallavan naan endha thavarum seidhu neivadillai and i have my family and i have my children enakku kudumbam irukkindrathu kulaigal irukkindargal and i have my money in the bank vangiyil enakku seivippu irukkindrathu but that will not save you at the end of life அழைத்து <laughs> செல்லும் <laughs> We just saw during COVID, so many people died. They left the body. COVID, total, COVID, till 
Every day there's so many accidents, motorbike, car accidents, people die, even young people. We have to be ready to give up to God. We have to be ready to go to Krishna. And so coming here and chanting Hare Krishna and reading Bhagavad Gita or hearing Bhagavad Gita is very important. Are there any questions? How many of you are initiated now? Yes. Good. How many of you are chanting? Are you chanting? Yes. Oh, good. Good. How many rounds? Hmm? Eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. You? Sixteen. Hmm, good. How many vegetarian? Yes. Yeah. Strict vegetarians? No eggs. No meat. Good. Yes, Taking prasadam. No onion, garlic. And the I know in Singapore everything vegetarian, it's all onion and garlic. You have many vegetarian restaurants, but every everyone practically onion and garlic. Singapore. Singapore is a very good thing. So better is to cook at home and offer to Krishna. Because you go to vegetarian restaurants, the cooks, they may be meat eaters. Although the restaurant is vegetarian, the workers are all meat eaters. So you don't get karma free food. We want karma free food. We want prasada. So if you don't have tempo, you have to cook yourself. And offer to Krishna. Very nice. So we encourage everyone to please try offer your food, chant Hare Krishna, ask Krishna to eat. Krishna and give your family nice prasad. Okay, are there any questions? What are all these part of the pieces up here for? Huh? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll call him.